mayor of Prospect Park has been a witness to what some are calling war crimes. Mayor Mohamed Kairoula traveled to Syria, witnessing firsthand the devastation that three years of fighting has done to his homeland, documenting the suffering of thousands and thousands of refugees. And today, we should point out that President Assad has vowed to wipe out what he's calling Muslim extremists. Mayor Kairoula joins us now. Welcome. It is uh, shocking to see some of the images that you, you've taken these photographs yourself during your, yes. your visit. And yes. you're going back again in just a matter of weeks. Yes. When you went back, this is where you're from. Correct. What went through your mind? It was uh, devastating to see what I saw in terms of, I mean, buildings that I used to see before, and now they're collapsed. Uh, floor, one floor on top of the other, uh, where people used to live. Um, and who did all this? It's obviously the, the uh, Syrian regime. They're, they're the only one with the firepower to cause such damage. Planes, tanks, artillery, how? A little bit uh, of all? Planes, tanks, um, explosive barrels. I mean, you're talking about maybe half a ton of TNT. They drop on, a, on an area and it causes mass destruction. Why? Why there? Why is Aleppo in that area being targeted? Well, they, they feel that they're losing a grip on the northern part of, of the country. And uh, when they crushed the first uprising in the 80s, they crushed it by through their firepower. And now they, they feel that they could do it again. But... Uh, we're in a different day and age. Uh, this is the age of technology. The world is witnessing their crimes. And um, the Syrian people are determined to gain their freedom at this point. We've had reports, unconfirmed reports, of the use of chemical weapons. The Assad regime claims we didn't do it. They're trying to pin it on the rebels. The rebels say, we, you know we don't have these weapons. Uh, is there any doubt in your mind that they were? First of all, do you believe the chemical weapons were used? I, I believe possibly at this point light chemical weapons. They're testing the international will, mm -hmm. uh, but I have no doubt in my mind that we'll use, they will use uh, the more dangerous and, and, and more destructive weapons in the future as, as they lose the battle. The regime has claimed it's not us, that there have been uh, elements of Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups that have been infiltrating the area. They did it. Do you, do you buy that argument at all? I don't buy any of their arguments. This is a regime based on lies. They've lied to their people for the past 42 years. They're, they're lying to the world. This is not new to them. Um, and, and what's not new also is the fact that they, they don't accept anybody speaking against them or speaking down to them. And their, their method of, of uh, stopping any, any quest for freedom is by killing people but that's not going to fly with the Syrian people anymore. They're determined to, to gain their freedom. It's, it's a do or die. We saw Assad made these comments about wiping out or cleansing the area of extremists, as he put it, after a suicide bombing in a mosque which killed dozens and dozens of people. Is Syria slipping into, or has it become, what we saw in Iraq? Well, number one, there's no evidence of an explosion. Anybody who watches the video from inside that mosque, there was no evidence of, of any explosion, no, uh, no burns, not, not to the rugs, to the walls. Um, I mean, a, a hand grenade would have done more damage than what we've seen. So in these a, in are a being propped up as a, as a pretense to do something Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. If you saw this, the pictures of the victims, um, they're laying on the floor with, with blood uh, under their head. So. Most likely they were executed in there. They're claiming that there was an explosion. Um, are we slipping into Iraq? I, I really don't think so. I, I think when, we, when history looks back on this, this is purely a revolution by the Syrian people to gain their freedom. And what should this country, your country, the United States, do at this point? I, I think we need to practice more uh, uh, political muscle. I, I don't think we've practiced uh, enough for whatever reasons. Diplomatic uh, or military? Uh, I think more of the diplomatic. I think we could put more of a choke on the Syrian regime. I don't believe in, in uh, putting uh, uh, American boots on the ground, but we could do some military operations uh, without having to put our uh, uh, boots on the ground there. Mayor, we appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing the photos from your next visit, sir. Thank you. Thank you.